Saving Faith by Gio Teasdale To believe that the good things which we have already received have come from the Lord is comparatively quite an easy step of faith. Even to acknowledge that all his dealings with us in the past have been for our best good and the road he has led us, although rough and dreary, was the best road for us to travel, is by no means a sure evidence that we have that living connection with God which will sustain the just when he that shall come will come and will not tarry. When the Lord tries our hearts and tests our patience by withholding for a time the things he has promised or by withdrawing for a time the things he has given us, and when hungry and thirsty our souls faint within us, and under these circumstances we patiently wait for the salvation of the Lord and worship God, saying, The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then is our faith well-pleasing and acceptable to God. The Lord promised Abram and Sarah a son. Yet he tried them twenty-five years before he fulfilled his promise. Every year that passed by made it more impossible, from a human standpoint, for them to have a child. And yet every year brought the fulfillment of the promise and the answer to their prayers nearer. They counted those things which be not as though they were, and were strong in faith giving glory to God. But the supreme test of their faith came when Abram heard the voice of God, saying, Take now thy son, thine only son Isaac, whom thou lovest, and offer him for a burnt offering. To obey a command of God that seems to prevent the fulfillment of the most cherished promises of God is a step of faith that tries the strongest. But Abram's filial trust and confidence in the wisdom and justice of God were equal to the occasion. For we read that by faith Abram, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead. Heavenly beings were witnesses of the scene as the faith of Abram was tested. They beheld with wonder and admiration his unfaltering obedience. All heaven applauded his fidelity. God declared to his servant, Now I know that thou fearest God, seeing that thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, from me. Thus it is that the Lord will test our faith. Not only must we believe that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and that no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly, although he keep us waiting long, but he requires that we shall have faith sufficient to be willing to give back to him that which we have already received at his hands. We must be willing to make the sacrifices Abram made if we would be heirs with Christ and children of God. O oh, for a faith that will not shrink, though pressed by many a foe, that will not tremble on the brink of poverty or woe, that will not murmur or complain beneath the chastening rod, but in the hour of grief or pain can lean upon its God.